Hi, this is Rhett with TestingTheory.com, and today I want to talk to you about the My Precious Testing Strategy, also known as My Precious Testing Strategy. For those of you that have read or seen The Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings, you know about the ring, the one ring to rule them all, the precious that was carried around by several hobbits. And just like your sight, you may be carrying around something that may need to be destroyed, even though it's your favorite, most precious item. Should your precious be cast into the flames of Mordor, or should it really stay on your site? Today we're going to talk about your, the My Precious Testing Strategy and what it means for you and your website. In the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit series, three different hobbits carried around this ring. Smeagol, Bilbo, and Frodo. And each of them had a certain attachment to the ring. It was their precious. It was their most important object they could carry. We're just like that when we test our websites. We have certain things about our websites that the business or us as individuals theme deem as precious, as important, as our most important things on the website. The purpose of the My Precious Testing Strategy is to challenge and question those elements, those pages, or those things on, that we have on our digital properties that we deem as important. It's to question if we should have them. Sometimes it's those elements that we love the most that are destroying our site. And it's those elements that we need to take off our site, just like the ring. It had to be destroyed in the fire. And if you know the story, you know that it wasn't when, when Frodo went to go destroy the ring, he didn't want to. He, he got cold feet. He was just about to do it. And he turned around and he's like, no, it's mine. It's the same thing with our site testing. Sometimes those elements that we almost get close to testing, to testing their importance and their existence, we, we get cold feet. Every company has the favorite things of their website. They're the things they deem are most important. Sometimes these are things that your analysis or your analytics says are important. You may have some correlative analysis that, that says when people use these elements or these things, they're more likely to convert. Maybe this is an element that your management is very fond of. They just love it. The, the entire management team, the business, they think this element is important. Sometimes your precious is an element that you just think is common sense to have. It's common sense to have this element, so why would we ever get rid of it? I've seen other companies where the precious element is the thing that the site is catered and built around, and so why would you ever remove that? So what is the My Precious Testing Strategy? It's very simple. It's using existence testing to hide those elements that we think are most important. When I suggest this to one of the clients I work with, they immediately responded, why would we ever hide something that we know has to be there that we think is important? And the answer is also very straightforward. By hiding and removing the element on the page, you get to identify if that element is valuable, first of all, or if it's just something the business or the people have opinions about. And you also get to learn the relative value of that element. Now, let me explain more about these two things. First, you get to understand the value of that element. If you hide an element on the page and your conversions decrease, you know that element was good. If you hide the, the element and the, the conversions increase, you know that element was bad and it was hurting conversions. So it, by hiding your favorite element, you learn if that element is hurting you or helping you. You saw this in the story with Bilbo Baggins. When he gave up the ring to Frodo, he, at first, he was like, I can't do it, I can't do it, and he did it, and, and he, he felt a relief by having given it away, and he didn't have to have that site anymore. It's the same thing with our sites. When we give up the elements that are hurting our conversions, it may be hard initially, but there's a relief that comes because your conversions increase. Now, the second thing that's valuable about hiding your favorite elements and removing them from the page is you learn the relative value of those elements. Suppose that there's an element that the business says you have to have on the page. The My Precious strategy says that you should still hide that element to see the relative value of that element. And the reason why this is important is because if you have to have it on the page, but you then you do the test and you learn that the value of that element is actually hurting conversions, you can keep on the page, but you can decrease the value of the element by making it smaller, by putting it lower on the page, by de-emphasizing it. So even though you may have to have it for some business reason or some stakeholder reason, by knowing the value, you can then prioritize its weight on the page based on the other elements that are valuable. You may actually find that the elements you thought were the most important aren't as important as you think, and then you can give more priority to those other elements that you didn't think were as valuable by making them bigger, by putting them higher on the page, by giving them more prominence. I want to give you a couple quick examples of what this looks like in practice. We did a test with one company called Norwegian Cruise Lines, and for the cruise, or most travel companies in general, whether it's an airline, in this case the cruise, they have a booking widget. And the booking widget allows people to quickly select dates and locations, and so they can quickly find destinations that might match what they're searching for. 
This booking widget is essential in most travel industries. Because this was their precious element, we decided to do the My Precious testing strategy with them, and we hid that element to see the value of that element with an existence, existence test. As you might imagine, they were very reluctant to do the test initially because it was their precious. They didn't want to lose it. It was so important to them. But we convinced them to do the test, and we found that the element was hurting conversions. This element that was so fundamental to their business model and to help people find destinations was hurting conversions. And so we immediately asked why. What was it about this element that was hurting conversions? And so we tried different locations of it. We then tested different styles of it. And if you go to ncl.com today, the widget that we originally tested looks very different than it does uh, today than it did back then. They changed the style, they changed the, the layout of it, they changed the location of it, and they've really made it something that converts for their business. That's the value of the My Precious testing strategy. They learned that it was hurting, but they knew they need to have it. And so it gave them a chance to optimize that element to improve conversions rather than just leaving it because they had to have it on the page. It, they optimized it even though it was their precious because it was hurting conversions. Another example of the My Precious testing strategy was one that I did where some stakeholders thought that an image across a certain category of um, or department was important. And they would argue that it needed to be bigger and some thought the image needed to be smaller. And so we ran the test and we did a larger image, a smaller image, but we also employed the My Precious testing strategy and we did no image at all to see the value of the image and what that brought to the table. And as you might guess, what we found was it didn't matter the size of the image. In fact, it didn't matter if the image was gone altogether. When we removed the image that everyone thought was so important to their business, conversions didn't change. And so by employing the My Precious testing strategy, we learned that element didn't matter, that we didn't need to put so much emotional energy into it inside the company, and we could just choose from a logical perspective what we thought was best for the visitors. I have an entire video on the existence testing strategy, so if you haven't seen that, you might want to go check that out. It will help you understand how to do existence testing, why to do existence testing, and how the My Precious strategy ties into that. In summary, the My Precious testing strategy will help you identify the value of your most important elements, and it will help you to know if it's actually helping your business or hurting your business, just like the one ring to rule them all. It was actually hurting the hobbits that carried around that ring. Each of the hobbits that carried around that ring didn't want to lose it. It was precious and important to them. And in the end, it wasn't going to be destroyed at all, but it was only by accident that Frodo's finger was bitten off and the ring by, by Gollum and the ring fell into the fire. Don't let those elements be your undoing. Don't let them be your demise. Challenge them, test them, question them, use data to determine what are your most important elements, even if it's important to the business and even if you think you have to have it. Strive to be indifferent to your elements on the page and test them. Once you know the true value of those elements that you've tested because you removed them from the page and you saw the impact on conversions, then take that knowledge and reorder and resize and retest the placement and priority of those elements. Then you can remake your pages and remake your elements according to the true priority and value of those elements and according to your business priorities. Let's not be like Golem and allow the my process to ruin us, but let's test them and prove that they are valuable or not. Thanks for joining me today. If you like this video, please give me that thumbs up. You can also visit me at testingtheory.com where you can learn more about how to do better testing and to get more conversions. At testingtheory.com, you can sign up for free consulting. You can also purchase courses to go more in depth into some of these principles, and you can see other videos just like this on testing strategy.